So what do we do next? Well, let's kind of really evaluate what we have over here, okay? Now, I can argue it this way. A change in binomial, okay, the change in the binomial over the change in theta, okay, is the ratio between this over here, okay, and the length, the arc length, or, or, or informally, is the ratio between the, the chord, I believe, is the chord and the arc, okay? Why do I say that? Because change in theta, I can write change in theta as this, okay? Arc length equals to change in theta times magnitude of this vector over here, right? You see, this vector over here, I take the magnitude, the length, I multiply by theta, I get the arc length. Normal radians, circle geoma, 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 geometry, okay? Apologize, okay, of this. But what do we know about this thing over here? It's one. So basically, the arc length is simply a change in theta or the value of the change in theta. So this is really the ratio of this to, to this one over here, right? Is the, okay, so this is the ratio of the change in B, which is this chord over here, okay, to the change in theta, which is the arc length over here. Now, when change in S tends towards zero, this vector, this, the, the, the binomial of S plus change in S, as S tends towards zero, this vector will tend very close to the vector over here, okay? To the initial vector over here. Now, when it tends very close, can't you see that the ratio between this arc length and the tangent over here is about the same, or is, is going to be the same? And in that case, it is one, okay? It is one. So, that means this will tend towards one, and we would now have to evaluate the other limit, okay? Return like that. Now, we can't evaluate it, that's for sure. We only can leave it in limit four because as we let check, change in S tends towards zero, this will tend towards zero and we get an error. So let's just rewrite this and make some sense out of this. Okay, rewriting it, the, the magnitude of the torque, sorry, the magnitude of the torsion is the limit as change in S tends towards zero of the magnitude of a change in theta over change in S, okay? That is the torsion, magnitude, the torsion. So, relating this, or what we have over here, with what we have over here, it says that as the change in S tends towards zero, the, the binomial vector of S plus small change in S will tend very close to the binomial vector over here, okay? And I, we would get the change in theta, okay? The ratio of the change in theta over the change in S at this point over here. So, it's basically saying that the torsion really measures the change in the binomial vector given a change in the arc length, okay? It's analogous to kappa, where if I recall, kappa is simply the magnitude of the change in the unit tangent over the arc length, okay? So, kappa is the change in tangent, the, the, the change in the tangent vector, whereas torsion is really the change of the binomial vector because that we have shown over here is the change in theta and theta measures the the change of the binomial vector the unit binomial vector so i know it seems to be a bit unclear at the moment but let's just take it as it is take it in stride take this equation that we have over here magnitude of torsion is the limit as change in s tends towards zero of change in theta over the change in s where the change in theta is the, the difference of the, the angle that is formed by two binomial vectors, okay? Or in other words, looking at it in another way, is the change of the binomial vector, okay? So what you can do right now is to really get a proper sense of the, the definition of torsion, and this is one of them over here, okay? Now, as you discover more subsequent problems, obviously things will get a bit more clearer, or a bit more clearer for you. Okay, but right now we it's a good point to start with this that the magnitude of torsion is this thing over here. Okay, we're gonna have a few more examples to really get you acquainted with this concept and it's coming up. Okay, thanks.